Now, we want to put the overlay of, of food movement here and we want to catch a few nutrients and a bit of water. So dotted around inside this city, we have got stormwater being accumulated and a lot of it. Uh, most of it goes pshht, out to sea and we could be capturing a fair bit of that in wetlands and injecting it into the aquifers under the city or if necessary exporting it to aquifers outside the city. Adelaide Plain has got good aquifers, we have got a very good structure for doing that. The water is stored there, obviously it's purified before we dump it down the hole and we can call it back during the summer. So that stuff is recycled within the city and also uh, some of that ends out just outside the city where, goodness gracious, we've got lots and lots of farms. Now also hovering just outside, just on the periphery of the city, we've got these recycling kind of uh, uh, establishments. And so what are they recycling? Well, they're your human manure, uh, which they love, and they uh, can easily convert that into nutrient-rich water or strip the nutrients out, whatever, and they can re-deliver that water. And you know what saved the aquifer on the Northern Adelaide Plain? The Bolivar Pipeline. The the poo water going from you guys, thank you very much, accumulated at Bolivar and up to Virginia because that aquifer was completely dying. And this, we're only going back a decade or so and now the aquifer is building again. So we, can, we have a, a lot of influence uh, and, and it's not because we're putting the sewage water down the hole, it's because the farmers are using the sewage water on the food which you all get at Coles and Woolies. Um, it's, it's actually safe stuff. You know, we can actually make that circuit work. I know the Queenslanders just can't handle the idea, but we have actually been drinking the stuff for years, so, you know, relax. The guys know how to do it. So, so we've got our human manure going out here, and we're cycling it out to the farms, and the food is coming back into the cities to the farmers' markets, and everyone has access to the farmers' markets. We've got the community... Uh, gardens and there's one thing that most people overlook and that is that sewage water can't ever sort of see the light of day until it's had but Jesus chlorinated out of it and uh, so we can still use it but only with subsurface irrigation and so it's fine for orchards and so everyone's wor worried about the park lands we've got this fantastic huge great pipe around the park lands and everyone's thinking oh When's anyone going to use any of that? And of course the answer is, we've got those park lands there, it's owned by us, they've brought the water up and now they need to plant some orchards. And then we're going to have food in abundance in, in those park lands which, in my opinion, are poorly utilised. Uh, it would be quite revolutionary but easy as to do. It's a cinch. So.